We've just pulled off the most expensive transfer in football history. That's right, the little boy from Paris, Kylian Mbappe, is officially an S2G FC player. But pulling this off was not easy. First of all, we had to prove to Kylian Mbappe that we're a worthy club. And we did that by becoming Premier League winners last season. But that was not enough. We also had to arrange the 300 million transfer fee. Thankfully though, our new sponsors Nike helped us with that. And finally, we also had to make Mbappe the highest paid player at the club to convince him to join us. And that did annoy certain players like Igor Ribeiro. But we had to do it because signing Mbappe is a statement of intent. It shows to every other club taking part in the Champions League that we mean serious business. And this season, we're going for the trophy. But hold up, guys. Even with Kylian Mbappe, I don't think this squad's ready to win the Champions League just yet. We still really need an upgrade for Bernardo Silva. He's amazing, but he's 35. He's getting old. He's not running as much as he used to. We need someone better there. And thankfully, this season, the checkbook is ready. 133 million left to sign any midfielder we want. And actually, a lot of you guys pointed out that we should be getting an extra 50 or so million because of Adidas and fulfilling their objectives. But something I forgot to mention was that in one of the clauses, it said that if I ever join their rivals Nike, no bonuses will be paid out. I mean, fair enough. You can expect that from Adidas. But there was no way I was rejecting Nike. Come on, they offered us Killian Mbappe. But still, 133 million I think is more than enough to bring in a world-class midfielder. Okay, one problem we do have with the Mbappe signing, it's that he's now officially a highest paid player. And if you guys remember, Igor Ribeiro, in his contract, it said that he must remain the highest paid player at the club. Otherwise, he's free to leave. We're going to have to figure this out soon. I think there's going to be a tussle at the club between Ribeiro and Mbappe because both of them are gunning for the Ballon d'Or. Both of them think they're the world's best player. Ribeiro is 95 rated, 23 years old. Mbappe is actually lower rated than him. So I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to have to keep an eye out. Right now, Ribeiro could be free to leave. So I'm, I'm confused. What do we do here? But now let's just wait it out because we've got just six seven days left for the window to shut and we need to bring in a midfielder before that so let's hope Igor Ribeiro just does not leave I don't think he will he probably sees the potential of this side to win the Champions League so I think he'll give us some time to figure things out meanwhile guys remember Ashraf Hakimi and the fact that we sold him in the last episode well he's come out with a statement S2GFC released me because of stamina issues it's not my fault willpower forced me to play Fortnite with him all night yikes man willpower Power is, is a menace. He's caused food poisoning to some of our players, and now he's doing this. Well, Akimi, it's still your fault. You could have easily just shut your console and just gone to bed. To be fair, I think Will Power was cooking. Not in the way you'd expect, because whatever he's done has led to Rico Lewis, a way better player than Hakimi at this stage, joining our club. So, yeah, can't complain about Will Power here. Oh, what's this? Time at S2GFC, impact at S2GFC. This has got to be Will Power. The dude's literally been taking a wage for doing everything everything apart from playing football. Yep, <laughs> that's what you guys are saying. Everybody's saying willpower. To be fair, he's had a big impact in players leaving and getting food poison. So a fair play. All right, guys, now getting to the serious business before the window shuts, and that's midfielders. And I've already got one player I'm really keen on, Enzo Fernandez. 89 rated, 28 years old, in his prime. And I feel like we just got to save him from Chelsea. And I don't think we've got a single Argentine player in our team. So getting that Argentinian grit, a World Cup winner alongside Mbappe, I think could be really cool. Yo, I would genuinely love Pedri, but he's literally out of our budget. Look at this. Oh my days, it'll cost us more than 180 million to sign him? Nah, we can't do this. Another option is Warren Z. Emery, 87 rate. Again, a really good option, I'd say. But I'm a big fan of Enzo Fernandez, and I kind of think I want to sign him. So let's do this. Negotiating with Mauricio Pochettino. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that he still kept his chance job. But okay, let's convince Chelsea to sell him to us. We're gonna offer 100 million to start with. We don't have endless amounts of cash now, so we've got to be careful. 110, and it looks like we've got a deal. Well, I'm gonna try and be stingy. 100.5. That's just stinky negotiating tactics from me, but if it works, hey, it'll work. And there you go, it's actually worked. 
That's why I call myself the world's best club owner. Now we just need him to convince to sign with us. I mean, once he saw Kylian Mbappe playing for us, I don't think there's a doubt he's going to sign a contract. And look at his wage demands. Lower than he got Ribeiro, so at least that helps us with the problem. And there you go, our number seven, Enzo Fernandez. I actually think he's going to be better than Bernardo for us because he can do a bit more defending, track back a little, which we will need. Not going to lie, a midfield of Enzo and Kobe Mainu, I absolutely rate that. This is a team I really believe could win us the Champions League. It's It's got a bit of everything. Alright guys, the trans window is now done. No more changes until January. The good thing is, Igor Ribeiro has still decided to stick around. Okay, we might have a problem though, because I've just got a message from Ribeiro. Boss, I feel extremely disrespected. I've carried this team on my back for six years. How can you make a newcomer the highest paid player? I mean guys, Ribeiro's got a fair point. We just laid out the red carpet for Mbappe to come in and become the king of this team without consulting our best players. So, Ribeiro isn't wrong. You know what, boss? Let's have a challenge. Whoever wins this year's Ballon d'Or becomes the highest paid player of the club. And if I lose, I won't invoke the clause in my contract and leave the club. I'll stay put and help the team win the Champions League. But if I win the Ballon d'Or, I become the king. Do you know what, guys? Igor Ribeiro has put out a fair challenge to Mbappe. The Ballon d'Or ceremony should be on the 5th of November. And I guess we'll see. Whoever wins it, highest paid player, and yeah, that's how it's going to be. Until then, though, we've got a job to do. We've not had the best of starts to our Premier League season, but it's only a couple of games. We'll, we'll bounce back. Plus, soon our Champions League group's about to be revealed. For now, we've got Enzo making his debut against Man United, and Bob and Ibero playing together. Let's hope things don't get too crazy from here. Games like this need to be a guaranteed win for us to push on, and yo, we've got Enzo Fernandez looking to slide this one through for killing Mbappe. Mbappe trying to bring it inside. Goes for goal. Oh, testing. Ah, oh, we couldn't convert that though. It's going to be interesting to see if Igor Ribeiro and Mbappe can play together well because it seems like they're competing at the same club. Here he is right now. Ribeiro looking for a cross for Mbappe. Mbappe couldn't score. Rebound for Kovalenko. That goal was kind of created by Ribeiro and Mbappe. Okay, Man United getting a bit into dangerous <sighs> positions and fair enough, they've got their equalizer. I've been reading a lot of comments saying that Bernard Bernard and Thomas Arnold are probably not good enough to be our centre-backs to win the Champions League. I still trust them. I know they make a few mistakes here and there, but I think Bernard Bernard's the leader we want at the back. He cares about this club more than a lot of us. You know what, when you've got attackers like Mbappe who can just get through defences like that. Oh, come on, Mbappe. I was just praising you. Oh, we're sending Mbappe through. He's got the pace. He's got the strength as well. Killing Mbappe and it's a lovely finish. That's why we paid the crazy money for him. Mbappe with a banger. You know what? All these games are going to count towards the Ballon d'Or, so Ribeiro better show what he's all about as well. Ribeiro looking for a lovely ball for oh. Billy Wilson. Oh, that would have been one of the best assists we've seen. On the counter-attack, Billy Wilson's got pace, but so does this defender. I don't know who is he, but we've managed to break through him. Enzo Fernandez. Now showing what he's all about in the midfield. Lovely ball for Kovalenko. And that is 3-1 for S2GFC. Enzo showing what he can add to the midfield. Just the result we needed against Man United. Oh, wow. We've got another big game before the draw of the Champions League. And it's Arsenal. We've got Ribeiro looking to take one from nope. distance. And that wasn't too bad. Uh-oh. We've given Bukayo Saka way too much nope. space. But Sam Tickle... He's insane. If there's one player who I've absolutely enjoyed having from start to finish, it's him. Oh, this might be an issue. We've once again let them through on goal and Bruh. fair enough. Oh, he's missed. I thought that was going in. Ovalenko looking for Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe and he makes the most of the one good chance we've had in this half. That's what he can do. Oh, we've given them a free chance and oh, they've missed again. Yo, I can't believe Arsenal are missing chances like this. We better be prepared because in the Champions League, no team's going to miss such opportunities. We're seeing a bit of passing between Mbappe and Ribeiro, which is awesome to see. Ribeiro gets the ball from Mbappe. Nope. Ribeiro can't convert. Falls for Mbappe. Lays it off for Kobe. Maynard who goes for goal. It's off the bar. Martinelli going for gold. Sam Tickle keeping things covered. And now Ribeiro's got space to run in the 90th minute while everybody else is low on stamina. Igor Ribeiro keeps going and he's not got his goal. Instead, Billy Wilson who gets the goal. I'm sure Ribeiro won't mind that. But regardless, full time, we've managed to kill the game off. Three points we take. Meanwhile, guys, it's Igor Ribeiro who wins the first battle against Mbappe, winning player of the month. Although I think Mbappe has scored more. Ribeiro's all right 
round game sped and look at that from being like 10th in the Premier League we've got ourselves back into the top four but now the serious business this season the Champions League the draw has officially been made oh wow we've got a top group and Bobby is gonna be playing against Paris Benfica Rangers as well these are some cracking games topping this group was gonna be so difficult but if we want to be contenders to win the Champions League we've got to all right the first group game we've got is Benfica they've got a team that I think we just have to beat no matter what and starting the Champions League with momentum is what we need we need to win this game so we don't have too much pressure when we play against PSG because you know that's gonna be super tough you guys know I love a bit of storylines and for this game we've got Enzo playing against his former club and already having a chance he almost scored Enzo Fernandez still Enzo Oh, he's done really well there. Oh. Ribeiro has gone through. No, he hasn't. Ribeiro. Oh, that's a smart ball played for Luis Sol. He's onside as well. Doesn't have the pace though. Set piece opportunity and it falls for Thomas Arnold. What a header, but saved. I think that first Champions League goal, it's going to be tough to get. But I just know if we get that one goal, many are going to follow and we almost got it. Okay, if we can see, absolute disaster. We cannot let that happen here. We cannot let that happen, but that's exactly what we've done. It's so typical of us, man. This season, all about focusing in the Champions League, and this is what we do. Now, we've got a super team now. Ribeiro and Mbappe in it. We're not bottling this. Go on, Billy. Need that run, though, from Mbappe. He's made it, but I think he's offside. Yes, he is. It's the second half now, guys. We can't afford to lose this game. Somebody needs to step up. Yo, just terrible challenges coming through from Benfica. They're not letting us play. Mbappe does really well looking for Kovalenko. He kind of got wrong-footed there, but he's still got the pace. Looks back for Mbappe. Can he find space? <gasps> Mbappe can't. Ribeiro, I see you making that run. Rico Lewis is through. Rico Lewis, tough angle, and he puts it wide. No, 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 no. We can't go 2-0 down. That's the worst possible outcome. I don't know what happens to us in the Champions League. It's like the pressure just gets to this team. Last season as well in the groups, it was an absolute nightmare. Looking like this season, it's going to be the same. And we've signed Mbappe as well. So it's just unexplainable. And there you go. We do end up losing our first Champions League group stage game. Unbelievable. This is now literally made our game against PSG a must-win game. This is the scenario I needed to avoid. The only thing I'm hopeful of is that PSG don't have Mbappe. The boy from Paris is an S2 GFC player. He's going to be playing against Paris. And we're going to need him and Ribeiro to put their beef aside. If any of them want to win the Ballon d'Or, they've got to perform in games like this. A few moments later. No, 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 no. PSG have opened this up already. The game is only kicked off. We lose this game. And honestly, we're halfway out of the Champions League. Honestly, guys, why on earth are we making life so much difficult for us? We've got more than what it takes to beat a club like PSG, but it's just not clicking. If they score again, nope. it's legit game over. Good defending. We've got so many pacey players, man, like Billy Wilson. We need to use that pace. That's exactly what we're doing right now. And Igor Ribeiro's got it. He's sweating it for Mbappe. Mbappe makes the most of it. Ribeiro and Mbappe combining when the team needs them to. And they're celebrating together. Or oh, we could look for more right now. Kovalenko. Lovely delivery for Billy Wilson. Squaring it for Mbappe. That was one of our best work goals. And this is what we need to win the Champions League. Guys, we've turned things around, but it's the second half and there's still a lot of football left to be played. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that is insane. That would have been one of the best goals we've ever conceded. We're lucky it didn't go in. Ribeiro, Kobe Mainu in an attacking position could help us kill the game off and that's what he's done. 3-1 against PSG. We've responded brilliantly. That's exactly the kind of result we needed in the Champions League. Oh, we're more than just back in the fight. Top of the group, and oh my. This Champions League group, there's no room for error. Every team after two games has got three points. Also, guys, we've made it to the 31st of October, which means in just about a week, we're going to find out who's winning the Ballon d'Or. Oh my days. And that could start one of the biggest controversies this club has ever seen. Mbappe is going to be the highest. Are you a speed player or Igor Ribeiro? Imagine if somebody random ends up winning it. Like, say, Haaland or someone. That would be hilarious. I guess then we'll just give both of them equal wages. For now, it's the third Champions League game. And Mbappe's looking in the mood. Ribeiro sliding this one for Mbappe. He's finding space, which he's done really well. Bringing it back inside. That's what Mbappe does. A lovely goal. Ribeiro looking for Enzo Fernandez. Back for Ribeiro. 
Billy Wilson has now found space. And Billy Wilson gets the second against Rangers. That should do the trick. We're back on the front foot in the Champions League. Just where we need it to be. But guys, the moment of truth is soon going to be upon us. Let's just get this game against Leicester out of the way. Hopefully with a win. Oh, come on. We took an L. But the big question is, who's taking home the Ballon d'Or? It is indeed one of our players. I cannot believe it. Cantona Rivaldo is going to be giving it. And I think it's Ribeiro. Oh, my days. One of our own. Igor Ribeiro, who's been here from day one, is taking home the Ballon d'Or. I can't believe this. A Ballon d'Or winner at S2GFC. We'll deal with the repercussions of who's going to be the highest paid player for now. Let's just enjoy this moment of the fact that our creative club has created a Ballon d'Or winner. Just surreal and fair enough, Igor Ribeiro. From the favelas in Brazil to greatness. The real question now is, what do we do? Do we honor our agreement with Ribeiro and make him the highest paid player? Or do we keep killing Mbappe happy? You know he's going to be fuming. The moment he finds out that Ribeiro has been given a bigger contract. When we signed him, that was one of the conditions, being the highest paid player at the club. But come on, Ribeiro has just won the Ballon d'Or player. We cannot let him go for free. I'm giving him the new contract and I'm hoping Kylian Mbappe can have the sense to understand. And all right, guys, we're offering Ribeiro 210,000 more than Kylian Mbappe. Is he going to accept it? Of course he is. And that's our Ribeiro problem solved. He's not going to be leaving for free anytime soon. So far, so good with Mbappe. He's not causing any issues. But I think soon we're going to have to have a conversation with him too. With all that done, time to get back to focusing on the Premier League. Because right now we're third in the league. Three points of Aston Villa. And guess what? We're playing Manchester City next. Wait, hold up. Mbappe's not available for this game. He was fine. A pulled calf. Out for the next couple of days. This is sus. Anyways, Mbappe's been in good form. So we'll, we'll buy it for now. Dave Rooney's going to play instead of him. And let's go out then beat City if we want to defend our Premier League title. These are the guys we need to beat. Uh-oh, Erling Haaland going for the cutback and well, Man City take the lead. No Mbappe and we're already struggling a bit. Remember Toby Payne? There he is. He's not even competition for us anymore. We beat him to the Premier League title. The rivalry with him is over. Who knows? Maybe in the future he might be playing for us, but it'll be on our terms. Dave Rooney looking for Igor Ribeiro. No Mbappe, no problem. We've got the Ballon d'Or winner to get the equalizer. Oh, Dave Rooney has robbed that one off the Man City player. Dave Rooney, 1v1. One, one. Could be a big goal for him instead of the crossbar. I feel for Dave Rooney, man, because he's done everything right in this game with all the pressure he's put. The goal is just what he's not getting. Oh, Kobe Maynou of all players has broken through. He's got the chance to shoot. Nope. He does so, but the keeper saves it. And it's actually former S2GFC keeper on. Rodriguez, who pulls the save off there. Set piece chance. Ribeiro puts it in. Thomas Arnold's header off the crossbar again, and he this time gets it. Let's go. We're about to get a famous win over Man City, and I don't think I've seen the joy in Thomas Arnold score, so it's a nice moment to have. Okay, let's not concede, please. I can't believe it. We just gave it away. Oh, we're gonna have to settle for a draw. We kind of did miss killing Mbappe in this game. The good news is, though, he's gonna be back for the next one. Wait, what? Now it's saying killing Mbappe has got a broken door and he's out for seven weeks? Is he actually gonna miss the entire month of November and December? Nah, he, he, he's gotta be faking it. What is going on? Is this because we made Ribeiro the highest paid player? Is Mbappe really gonna jeopardize our Champions League campaign? this way? We paid 300 million for him. Okay, wait. We've just got an email from Mbappe's agent. Oh no, this is not good. 